Hey guys, Peter here. Welcome to another video. Today I want to do a review on Uber Eats and what it's like to be a driver for Uber Eats. And I've been doing it for a couple years and want to kind of just talk a little bit about why I got into it and um, what I think of it as a side hustle, especially going into, you know, is it a good side hustle idea for 2022? You know, we're almost out of 2021. So I want to talk about, you know, what is this going forward? And, but before we get into that, please smash that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells YouTube that this content actually is important and it'll push it out to more people to be able to see, you know, some more ideas on what this channel is about and the content that we provide, you know, when it comes to entrepreneurship, personal finance, investing, you know, even in things like cryptocurrency, but especially for people who are looking to transition or, you know, even earn some extra money that they can do more in a flexibility type way. And so I think Uber Eats is a good option for that and also some other things. And I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for a type of model with affiliate marketing that is really kind of a secret. And I, it's, there's a free web class down below, so I'm gonna make sure to put that in the link in the description to take a look at that, especially for 2022. Um, so with that, if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so and uh, hit that bell icon so you'll be reminded of new videos when we post them. But let's go ahead and get started. So when I got into this, you know, I knew of it, but I never considered it. I was doing my, you know, I was building the business, doing e-commerce. I had 10 different products that I had labeled for myself and, you know, was putting together all the listings and, and just running my Amazon FBA business, really. But when the thing started to take a change, and I couldn't keep up with it. You know, I, I just was living on really, I, I was living in loss, basically. And I would have, it would have served me well to have gotten into something like Uber Eats to at least take care of the necessities instead of, you know, just kind of living on either the, the borrowed money or the business funds, things that I needed to really run the business a lot better than I did. And so I wish I would have got into something like Uber Eats sooner. Now, at first, there is a time where you have some sort of a, a learning curve. It's not a hard learning curve. It's Uber Eats isn't extremely hard to do. Um, you know, it can, you can get a little, I guess, repetitive. So sometimes I'll go to different areas but usually I'm pretty consistent on it, but I, I try to find things that are, that kind of keep my mind, you know, let that be a time where I'm able to do my best thinking, which is during the day, which is one of the things that I really like about doing Uber Eats, is that it's not um, too stressful on my mind, and it it's, it gives me something that I can do and really multitask um, you know, in thinking, doing, you know, planning my next moves for my other businesses and different things that I'm, that I have going on and projects. And it allows me to be able to do that. So for that, I'm really grateful. That's really been helpful. And I've, I've been doing this now, um, for, let's see, since 2019. Um, I've done almost 5,000 deliveries, by the way, here's a picture of my account with almost almost 5,000 we've gotten there so I've learned a lot of things but I would say that um, mo for the most part that Uber Eats has been awesome you know I'm not saying that you're gonna get rich off of it but what Uber Eats does do and driving with them what that's allowed me to do is I was able to build a you know multi level marketing business in eight countries on the side and I was able to get that to about I think my highest was at least over a thousand but it could have been about fifteen hundred dollars 
um, in a month, which is really great side income for me. I, I built into eight, at least eight countries, and um, you know, it's just another income stream. But to be able to build something like that while doing Uber Eats, I mean, to me, that's what this is about. It's about having that flexibility and, and other, to kind of buy yourself some time, some money, but more, it's about the time uh, to be able to try some things and test it. And like, for instance, right now, this is something that is buying time, but it's also giving money for ads and to, to kind of experiment some mar with some marketing ideas and some things that I'm working on. So for that, that's been really helpful. And, you know, I'm really grateful that Uber Eats was an opportunity that I could, you know, could, could do really. Um, my car was outside of the limits on what you could do with Uber, which isn't for me anyway, but, um, but, it, and I have stuff in my car, like my clubs and all those kind of things, like golf clubs and all that. So, you know, you know, with Uber drivers, they have to have their cars pretty much empty to take luggage and belongings of the customers. And I don't have that situation other than to have to deal with, you know, picking up food which isn't too bad. And sometimes I pick up things like, at this point, this is a new thing. So this is also to take note of, um, especially with the merging of Postmates, is Uber is, uh, you, you may pick up some things from Walmart. I picked up stuff from 7-Eleven before. I've even had calls for AutoZone. I've never gone actually and done it, but um, some things that you would see more often on Postmates, uh, because now they've, come together you'll have a little more you won't just have food let's put it that way mostly food but not always so uh, let's talk about some of the earnings now it depends on where you live but I live in California so we have what's considered proposition 22 which is if you if, if in your active time on the app if you don't if you don't hit the bare minimum they will split the. They will not split the difference. They'll add on to it, and they'll pay you within two weeks to make up for it, which is really helpful. I, I don't agree with it on the business sense, but as an independent contractor, it helps me out um, for that. So hey, I'll I'll take I'll take it. You know, if that's you know, at the end of the day. But you know, it's a it, it's definitely a helpful thing. I I made. I think I, I did a video on this, but I think the highest was $1,362 in a week, which was pretty good money. Um, you know, longer hours, but it was during the earlier part of the year when we were dealing more with the lockdowns and things like that. And um, Uber did a good job adjusting to that and how you deal with more personal interaction to kind of you know, getting the food and dropping it off and then not having those those uh, interactions during the day specifically with the customers. It's more me doing the, the front end work and dropping the food off. So it's, you know, makes them feel safer, you know, just to leave it at the door and things like that. But Uber did a good job adjusting to that. Um, so as far as the highest, you know, with, with things like earnings and the adjustments that Uber has done and Proposition 22, the most I ever got, I got close to about $5,000 in a month. And again, that was the same time that I had my biggest week. So again, that was doing a lot of work. But I, I mentioned that because I never expected anything to be more than, say, $500 a week of extra income. But Uber has actually turned into a, you know, a really helpful full-time gig for a while to help me work on these other projects. You know, when I was, when I needed something, Uber was pretty simple to to move into from e-commerce and also working with MLM when I was doing that and building that and, and building my team. It, it was really helpful because it, I had all this time by myself to be able to think and also have that flexibility to make some phone calls or send some messages and things like that. So. I think Uber Eats is a great business and a great like a uh, gig job, especially if you're in somewhat of a transition and you're trying to you're working towards some other goals, or you're not sure if 
you know, it, it's a good connector. Do I think Uber Eats is going to be strong in five or ten years? Maybe uh, the robotics part and self-driving cars makes me, you know, again, look at it as something for a transitional period and to, to, to really buy me some time. And so I think that's, if you're an entrepreneur and you're looking for some things to kind of connect the gaps, I think driving with Uber Eats is a good option. And I'll leave a link in the description down below for you to get started if that's something you want to do. But I will also leave a link in the description below for the affiliate marketing and building what's called a home on the internet in a hub format versus just the traditional old ways that affiliate marketing has run. And uh, I highly recommend you take a look at it. It's a free uh, masterclass that I will be linking on. And there's also another link I'm putting in there that's going to be for YouTube and how you can connect YouTube and affiliate marketing. I'll leave a link in the description below for that as well. So anyway, with that guys, smash the like button. I hope this was informative to you and brought some value to you. Um, on this channel, we are doing a special right now with Uber Eats and kind of the ins and outs of it and see if it's something that would be helpful as a side hustle, especially going into 2022. And we talk about investing, we talk about personal finance, we talk about just those different things that can help move the needle for you to get closer and closer to your financial goals and less and less of a boss and to have more of that freedom and more of a flexible lifestyle. So with that, uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video.